for most camera enthusiasts, their DSLR is, well, it's a religion. It's a choice that they make and they live with for the rest of their lives, which is why it was a fascinating thing when this last year suddenly we had a disturbance in the force. Many photo enthusiasts, including our very own Leo Laporte, switched from Canon or Nikon to Sony. I'm speaking with Eldine from Sony, who's going to explain why the 7 series is a phenomenon. Eldine, what is the A7? Okay, so first of all, you mentioned those other cameras were uh, DSLRs. Number one, first, first and foremost, this is a mirrorless camera, right? So really what makes a camera special is lens sensor processor. Uh, mirrors that move in between usually get in the way and don't really do everything that the camera needs it to do. Plus new technology, new material sciences allow us to do the things that the mirror was there in the first place. So the mirror is really only for two reasons. One is to uh, reflect light into an autofocus sensor and the other one is to reflect light into a viewfinder, an optical viewfinder. So if you can eliminate those and you can make the camera focus faster by itself with uh, better technology and you can give it a, a higher resolution viewfinder that rivals anything optical out there plus give it other benefits, then there's no reason to have a DSLR anymore. So hence, the mirrorless camera is now taken over where DSLRs left off. But it's, it's not just that because people have been raving. All the experts have been saying that this series is what they've been waiting for. It's a no compromise camera. It's got very little noise. It's got a fantastic frame rate. It does video as well as it does still. What did you have to do to make that quantum leap in, uh, in photography technology? Okay, so that's a really, really good question. And one of the things you've got to understand is that Sony is the leader in sensor manufacturing, right? We make sensors for everything from cell phones and some of the biggest, you know, fruit brands use our, you know, cameras for, uh, uh, in their cell phones, everything up to the F65s where we are shooting motion picture. So we have everything from a small little cell phone sensor, the action cam, uh, you know, POV camera with our sensors, DSLRs we make for other companies as well. We make their DSLR sensors, we make our sensors. So we're a sensor manufacturing company and we have the best sensor technology in the industry. Taking that sensor technology and matching it with the best lenses in the industry now give you what I was saying before, that lens sensor processor combination. That allows us to give you the best possible image quality in the market and then add all features that are not possible with traditional cameras. You know, adding features on that traditional cameras, traditional DSLRs just can't do. And that's really where I think most people are adopting it. Over and above that, giving you a system that allows you not only to expand within the Sony system, but also outside. So you know that you invest in lenses and you may have invested in lenses. You may have lenses from cameras that you haven't used in decades because there aren't cameras to fit those lenses. The E-mount system actually allows you to adapt other lenses onto this camera. So for instance, we're going from E-mount to our Sony A-mount lenses. We're going from E-mount to other brands of DSLRs. We're going from E-mount to PL lenses. So this really makes it an open system uh, a camera. So you're not, you're not bogged down by, oh, I've invested in you know, XYZ brand. I have to stick with their cameras, even if they're not doing anything to you know, come out with new technology, right? So now if we can come out with new technology and you can say, oh, I could use that lens, great, no problem. Now the 7 Series is wonderful, Leo Laporte swears by it, but I can understand some of our audience members are saying, we like that camera, it's a little out of our price range, we would like to do some production, maybe in areas where I wouldn't trust to my, my, with my expensive camera. Yep. You do have something else here that might be for them. Tell me a little bit about this. Okay, so this is like a really interesting camera. This is our uh, action cam. We have a number of different action cams. This one is the X1000. This is actually a 4K uh, point of view camera. It's really, really small. Uh, what's really neat with the action cam is that it's water resistant on the outside, not waterproof. We do have water housings that you can dive down to about 200 uh, feet width. But this is a micro, uh, sorry, a quarter 20 mount. So standard mount, Zeiss lens, Exmor R CMOS sensor, this will shoot exactly the same 4K codec as what you're going to see on the higher end cameras. Not only on this, but also going up to the higher end cameras like the FS7s, the FS5s. So the XAVCS codec, even on this tiny, tiny little camera, Zeiss lens, low light sensor, 100 megabit per second, 4K internal, this has time code, it's got color profiles, like it's white balance profiles that match some of the color profiles. This little camera is completely capable, and at $500, including the smartwatch, or $399 without, it's an incredible value for money. Image stabilization, stereo microphone. So this is the, the, the literally little go anywhere, crash cam, action cam, uh, you know, buy a dozen of these and use them in your production. Oh, what I really like about this is the watch can actually be worn on your wrist when you're, say, you're surfing. So you can have the camera in a housing on the front of the board, and you can start and stop and monitor your feed in real time. 
Yeah, so for instance, if I'm going to be racing a car, if I'm going to be surfing, if I'm going to be in the water, white water rafting, I may not want to take my cell phone with me. In fact, I'm not going to because I don't want to damage it. However, with a smartwatch, what I can do is I can control up to five cameras. I can uh, scroll between them. Uh, it connects to the camera via Wi-Fi, so I can actually see what the camera is seeing. So let's say, for instance, I'm sitting in a, in a raft and I have five cameras surrounded around me. I can check each one. They're all on. They're all... Uh, in the right position, and then I can actually start them synchronized with time codes from the watch. And for $500, that's a very low price point to enter into the Sony world. That is correct. And then from there, we just go up. You know, from there, we go into our Handycam series, where we've got Balanced Optical Steady Shot. We go into our uh, RX, our Cybershot RX series, or the one inch size sensors. And, and keep in mind, these cameras all shoot the same codec. Right, so uh, integrating the cameras into one workflow all works together. So shooting it from that, you know, go up to a one-inch sensor with Zeiss lenses or G lenses with, you know, right now we have the um, RX10 Mark III, which now features not only a one-inch sensor, but a, a 24 to 600 millimeter Zeiss lens. Uh, sorry, uh, G lens. Yep. All right, now, if the folks at home wanted to find out more about the 7 Series, more about the action camera, more about everything that Sony has to offer, where can they go? Okay, so first and foremost, www.sony.com is obviously where you're getting a lot of information about Sony. If you want to find out more about our camera division and, and find out more about what our artisans are doing, uh, a lot of the events that we're promoting, and also any you know brand new technology, any announcements that are coming out, make sure you check out www.alphauniverse.com. Eldine, thank you very much for speaking with us. Thank you for sharing your technology. Folks, here at Sony, the future is clear. <laughs>